What's up you guys? Welcome to our 2018 bullet journal setup video. I'm so excited to start fresh this year. I know I've been gone for a hot minute. I took a little break at the end of last year, but I'm ready to start brand new and fresh. All right, a few things before I get started. Number one, we will be returning back to our monthly updates on this channel in addition to giveaways every single month. So if you guys are interested in winning some brand new supplies or a new journal for yourself, be sure to stay tuned every single month. Second thing, if you guys did not catch my 2017 bullet journal setup, I'm going to include that link down below. I highly, highly recommend it for you beginners out there. They need an in-depth explanation on every single component and how to set your very own bullet journal up for the first time. And lastly, if you're interested in any of the supplies that I use on this channel, please be sure to check that description box. I'll include all of the new supplies in addition to my core basics in case you guys want to check that out too. All right, so for 2018's inspiration is a combination of two things. I first combed through all of the collections I did in 2017 and only picked out the ones that I truly and actively used and also huge shout out to my homegirl Amanda Rachel Lee I highly recommend you watching her 2018 setup I used the skeleton of my base off of hers so all my love thank you guys so much for supporting both of us our journal this year I'm starting off with a brand new brand this is the scribbles that matter pro journal I saw this on Amanda Rachel Lee's channel and I thought I'd give it a try. It looked like the paper is a little bit more opaque and can reduce the ghosting. So the very first page I did for 2018 is going to be a simple quote. This is my quote that I'm going to be working on throughout the year. I created this in my life coach and it's less perfection and more production. One of my greatest opportunities for improvement is definitely in this area. I think I just got so hung up on negativity and just like OCD that it prevented me from really doing Doing everything that I wanted to do and so I want to really work on just doing the best I possibly can in the moment embrace some more self-love and just get a project out and learn and grow as I go along and not get so hung up on these mental hurdles that you know are so self-inflicted so just sharing a little bit about myself so that is my focus and intention for 2018 I wanted to have that first next up I have my own personalized key page At the very beginning of this journal the scribbles that matter have a section that's already pre-printed with a one page for key and three to four pages for the index. For me, I wanted to create my own personal key and have it look handwritten. So I went ahead and just did the very first blank page as my key. And basically this is like a legend for all of the tasks and indicators I'm going to use throughout this bullet journal. So I have a simple font that I use with my Tombow dual brush pens. I create a cute little bow on top, just very simple, minimalist and feminine. And then I have all all of my indicators here basically guys this is just a legend so that you know exactly how to mark each and every one of your appointments and tasks very similar to what I did last year but I just kind of cleaned it up if you guys are interested, that stencil is a new Ink by Jang stencil. It is the most souped up stencil that is so incredibly useful. I included that stencil down below in case you guys want to check that out. So after the key, I have my 2018 yearly at a glance. This is basically just if I need to look at where all the dates fall within a year. They have the header for the month and they also have all the abbreviations for every single day underneath that. You got it all in one page. All right, I kind of cheated here. I had some old Ink by Jang Jang calendar stickers that I had lying around so I chopped those up and just use them on this page just to be quicker and you know obviously it looks very clean I love her handwriting I don't think she has these stickers anymore however she does have clear stamp kits that have all the calendar numbers in case you guys don't actually want to write this out either Moving on to our future log if you guys follow my last year setup what I had next to the yearly at a glance page was a birthday tracker so I actually combined it with the future log which you you will see right now. I decided to do a vertical column layout. I see that this is more popular this year and I actually think it is way better because you have a lot of appointments that go out throughout the year but you're not writing you know a lot of text. So I came into an issue last year with the horizontal layout because it just felt really crammed and I didn't have enough spaces to include more events. So I'm really excited to try this out this year. For a two-page spread I put out six months and then for the headers I really like that clean minimalist ink by Jang look so I'm using a clear stamp 
stamp kit from her Etsy shop. Then of course you've got the actual calendar itself so you can see the dates of the month. I hand wrote all the numbers because I didn't have enough stickers to last me throughout the entire two page spread but I still think it looks amazing. And then underneath that I have that nice expansive area for all of my events and notes for the future log. And then at the very very bottom you'll see that I draw a secondary line and that is going to be my little important birthday section. I found it annoying last year to have to keep flipping back and forth from the birthday tracker and my future log. I thought it was going to be a lot easier just combining it for 2018. So just a little tip in case you guys want to do the same. So let's go ahead and move on to our collections. I swear I think I reduced this by like more than half compared to last year. I think I was just a little bit too ambitious on all the things I wanted to track and then it ended up being almost overwhelming. So my recommendation to you guys is to really comb through your last year's journal, figure out what was fun to do, what was easy to use, and helpful to your daily life. So our very first first page in our collections is going to be 2018 goals. Last year I had three categories, mind, body, and work. And this year I did four, mind, body, spirit, and work. So I'm going to be really excited to fill this all out with all the things that I want to focus on and achieve this year. And then the next page I have a gratitude and wins page. So this is something that I've been doing personally, basically writing down everything that I'm grateful for. So I can always look back to this in case I'm having a bad day. And then also a wins list. If you guys are into meditation, I think this is a great page because you can think about all the things that really make you happy and give yourself a nice pat on the back for all the things you achieve throughout the year. Moving on to our next collections, I have my milestones for my social media. Last year, I tracked four different things and that ended up being a little bit <laughs> exhausting. So this year, I'm focusing on my two main social media channels, which is YouTube and Instagram. Shout out to Amanda. I love her vertical layout, so I mimicked that for my page. And in the same department, on the right hand side I did my YouTube ideas and business ideas which are two things that I actively do and catalog throughout the year and then moving on to the next few pages this was my entertainment fun spread so last year I had lots of pages for this and I didn't end up using a lot of them so I wanted to focus on my favorite things that I wanted to do for this year one thing is travel so I wanted to document all the places that I did travel so at the end of the year I can just kind of digest and reminisce about all the places I went to and then on the bottom is places I want to visit. I also want to list all the things that my friends recommend to me or if I see a great trip that my friend went on, you know, I just want to document that so I don't let that fall off of my wish list. And then on the right hand side, I have a things to consume page. Last year, I just did a singular large books page, but you know, honestly, your girl doesn't read a lot. I like to consume a lot of different things, movies, TV, lots of media. So I thought I did a singular page and had four different categories. So I have my favorite books I want to read. I've got podcasts movies and TV and then different blogs that I want to read. Love this a lot more and it'll be great to see everything in one singular list. And last but not least, you guys, the final pages are going to be my bills and payments pages. If you guys are students or working adults, this is a great collection to create for yourself so you know when every single bill is due. And then also you can do like a debt tracker too if you guys need to work on that this year. All right, guys, that was it. Very simple, very short compared to last year, but I think that it is a lot easier for me to actively use every page and get the most out of each in Attention, and I'm really excited to report back on how this worked out for me. And then last but not least, I want to show you guys this cover I bought. I wasn't too hot on the color on this journal, so I found this Midori um, leather cover, which is so feminine and beautiful. And it has a little pen slot, so I could put my pen on the side, in addition to two side slots, so I could slip my stencils and stuff in there. I'll also include that down below in case you guys are interested. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I'm so excited to do 2018 with you guys. We are going to slay... I love you guys to death. I hope you guys are doing great out there and having an amazing 2018 so far. Love you. Bye.